So hello everyone, welcome again to today's Trojan Family Weekend webinar, Stretch Your Strength, the Robert J. Corey Applied Leadership Program. Today, um, we have uh, Dr. Jody Tolan, Academic Director of the Corey Applied Leadership Program and Assistant Professor of Clinical Management and Organization. Um, you may submit any of your questions at any point during this webinar using the Q&A feature below as we'll have a time to answer them towards the end of our discussion. So with that, I will hand it off to Dr. Jody Tolan, and I have the poll results ready to share whenever you like. Great, thanks, Sujin, and welcome everybody to our first very um, unusual virtual family weekend. I um, am also a Trojan parent, and so haven't been able to engage in anything yet until today. So I'm very glad that you're able to join us. Um, I have, I wanted to actually look at the poll results. Oh, wonderful. We have a lot of first year student parents here. Um, and a few, at least one, maybe one parent who has a Corey alum or a current Corey student mentor. And, um, and it's good for me to know how much you know about Clifton Strengths, Strengths Finder, and the VIA Character Strengths because um, there's not a lot of background. So I'll explain a little bit about how we use those in the program. I um, I'm going to share my screen, and you're going to see how I have become just an intermediate user of Zoom as I present some of the the background and context of the Robert J. Corey Applied Leadership Program. It's originated about, well, with conversations about five or six years ago when Rob Corey, who is a parent of a three boys and a nephew who uh, are have attended Marshall, one is still currently here um, and is one of our student ambassadors, as a matter of fact, um, came to talk to then Dean Ellis about giving back to the school, but with a mindset of how do I help young people become more confident in their leadership ability and their leadership style to um, speak up and to challenge people in, um, in, in meetings, in boardrooms, in, in their working teams. And we did a little research. We had several conversations. I have, um, I got my doctorate degree in organizational develop, uh, develop organizational change and leadership with a focus on student leadership. And so did a lot of research about what tools and um, formats would be most effective for helping students build the, the confidence, character and courage to be, to make change, frankly. Um, especially now, I think it's even um, more critical to how our young people are developing their leadership identity in um, well, what we used to just call a VUCA world, a volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world. And now it's a, it's a virtual world too, with a lot of uncertainty. So to be an effective leader, you really have to start with self-awareness. And that is the foundation of, um, I think, authentic leadership. And, uh, and not only leadership from a capital L sort of standpoint, but also um, a small L standpoint. So we worked together with also uh, Professor Emeritus uh, Jim O'Toole to develop this program. I'm a faculty member in the management and organization department. I teach uh, a, a number of different courses to undergraduate students. Um, I teach the core organizational behavior and leadership class, BUAD 304, and uh, all of your Marshall um, students will take that at some point. We have a team of faculty uh, and, uh, and also teach teams and another personal leadership elective. Uh, so when we developed the program, we focused on strengths because the Gallup folks who develop StrengthsFinder, which they've rebranded Clifton Strengths, so some of you might be familiar with StrengthsFinder, um, it has a lot of data and research behind it about its effectiveness in building people's confidence. And that has borne out in our evaluations of the program. So their fundamental um, 
philosophy is the key to success is to fully understand how to apply your greatest talents and strengths in your everyday life to achieve a particular goal. And that was the other reason why this was um, an effective tool is it's very action oriented. Hence, you know, the applied nature, Rob Corey was very adamant about it being applied. We didn't need to, um, we, get, we get other leadership theory and other experiences, but this is very applied. The different, I'm gonna to talk to you about the features, the benefits, and then the experience of the program. I have four uh, Marshall students. I have, um, we have, three student mentors and Kelsey Brembry is a student ambassador who just finished the program in the spring, but Catherine Wynn, Tyler Sato and Ryan Nagel all um, have been involved with the program for different periods of time. Catherine and Tyler are now seniors and, um, and graduating and I've known them since the beginning. They were participants in the early days and then became student mentors and have stayed and grown with the program. And I think you'll be excited to hear about their stories. So I'm not gonna spend that much time on the background. So you have an opportunity to ask questions in, um, of them and of me. But the features of the program, which I think are, are unique and um, impactful and were designed very intentionally is that it's experiential. So it's around exercises, assessments and putting students, giving students knowledge and skill and putting them back out there in the world and to test things out, to reflect and learn. Those of us that are leaders and managers at, at our places of business or in our um, private lives, um, in our volunteer lives, recognize the importance of reflection is a, is a core element of effective leadership. And so we've, we've inter integrated that reflection into the program. It's applied, it's, if we give them, they choose their own goals. And as I mentioned, integrated. We're supported. Um, our students are supported by trained peer mentors, which is a unique actually quality of the program. And then also because we have this wonderful Masters of Business for Veterans program. So it's a little over a year and kind of MBA program for veterans. They, are, they come and help us with our capstone program and also with meeting with students and student mentors as their mentors and their, um, their supporters. Um, and you'll see, I have a video to show you of, um, of the capstone from 2019, because in 2020, we, um, we were virtual. And we can talk a little bit about that if you'd like. It's unique with the combination of both Clifton strengths, which are action-oriented, goal-oriented, and via character strengths, which are um, an assessment of a set of um, different values that are common across all cultures and, um, and originated from, from work by a, a number of positive psychologists. And you've seen these, especially if you're reading any of your self-care and wellness um, newsletters and things that come across like gratitude and um, forgiveness and humility and curiosity. These are, these are values that we can tap into that bring us wellness um, and happiness, frankly. And it's very practical in its, skill, in its skill building with active listening and crucial conversations, which is a model of having difficult conversations, especially as leaders. And a number of students who are in the program or mentors are as well, you know, all of our Marshall students engage in team projects. And so these team projects um, often bring with it the either functional or dysfunctional conflict. You, they are living with roommates. And it's a wonderful, I, I often talk about how college is a wonderful laboratory for practice and reflection of life skills, um, certainly business skills, but also leadership skills. And so we inter intertwine skill building through the program as well. The benefits from students, and you'll hear from our um, panel in, about the impact on their, you know, on their lives, is leadership starts with self-awareness. We all know that leadership starts with knowing who we are first 
before we can lead others. And doing this in the freshman uh, year or the first year, if a student is a transfer student, um, lays a wonderful solid foundation of, um, of confidence and knowledge and practice that they can continue to build over the course of their years here at, um, at Marshall. Connection among first years is this is part of the first year experience at Marshall, which is an award-winning, actually it's an award-winning program of, um, of bringing, of onboarding our first year students into Marshall. Um, but it gives them a connection between traditional admits that come in the fall, spring admits and transfer students. There isn't another place where students can come together and get to know a lot of different types of students that they wouldn't otherwise know. They gain interview and internship readiness, being able to answer that question. So tell me about your strengths with specific language and examples of where it shows up. It promotes a growth mindset, which allows students to look at um, challenges and opportunities from a developmental standpoint of, I may not know that yet, but here are some practices I can engage in in order to get better and to master that um, skill the, or, um, or build their leadership identity. And really it's interesting when I first, and I'm gonna just be a, a, a little transparent here, in, I've been interviewing student mentors for, um, to hire new, a new cohort of student mentors. We've been talking to them. And, um, and one of them asked about, you know, what we're proud of in the, you know, what's excited about us being, you know, the, the administrators, the director and our admin director, Gohart, is, um, is it really does build the self-confidence and courage to lead. And whenever you build a program, it's a matter of, you know, if you build it, will they come? And what has been so gratifying, and I get, I get goosebumps every time I talk about it, is how students have embraced the program and talk about the program and relate back to the program and come back with stories about, in my internship, I was able to leverage these strengths and, um, and better manage my boss or better manage this team of peers, frankly, which we have to do a lot of in school and then right when we're first graduating. So it, it's really um, great that that is happening. The experience itself is around, as I mentioned, both the um, strengths finder, which you see this influencing, ex executing, strategic thinking, relationship building. These may sound familiar to some of you who are in business. Some, this is how Gallup and Clifton Strengths organizes leadership skills. And then the list of VIA character strengths around these um, topics of wisdom and humanity and justice and temperance, transcendence and courage. These are things that make us live a better life um, and really achieve not just our professional goals, but our personal goals and live with um, authenticity. And it's all supported by mentoring. And our student mentors are trained sophomores, juniors, and now seniors um, who support students both in our seminars. So we have five meetings and um, two large seminars, two cohort meetings that are just student meetings uh, led by the mentors. And then a capstone experience that you'll just, you'll see in a moment in the video. <laughs> Applied Leadership Program is designed for first-year Marshall business students, their undergraduates who are coming into the program to build their confidence, understand where their values and characters lie, and to build the courage to really make a difference and step up as leaders in the future. I think overall the main idea is just to learn how to be an effective leader. So it's kind of like having that balance between like what you're already good at and how you can utilize that and what you're not so great at and how you can improve upon that. 
really two different types of meetings. There was the like the main events. Everyone would meet in a lecture hall, and Professor Tolan would you know speak, and then we would have uh, smaller breakout sessions with our cohorts. So I'm Orange Cohort. <laughs> this semester we um, introduced like office hours, so we were actually meeting with our assigned um, mentees throughout the semester. So as mentors, we really want to facilitate this leadership development process by making sure the students feel comfortable and have the resources they need. A lot of my mentees are now mentors. Now that we've figured out through the different surveys what our character and innate qualities are. We are applying them through a series of different exercises. The Masters of Business Veterans serve as great role models for the freshmen and transfer students. It is really a great opportunity to take those our, our real hands-on practical based leadership that we have from the military to them to what they're trying to build to and learn towards. You know it helps us build confidence especially when they're like you know you're doing this right you're doing great so it was just another cool perspective that we got that we weren't just getting from our mentors who are also in college. USC and the institution the philosophy of entrepreneurship, the philosophy of leadership, especially applied leadership, was critical. Our family foundation, it was natural for us to partner with this institution because our mission is to instill guiding principles in young, up-and-coming professionals because we think that's where the biggest difference is made. What I would say to a freshman considering applying to this program is uh, absolutely apply. I would love to now introduce the very, I call them my mighty mentors whenever I communicate with them. I think they're fabulous. They have made this program what it is. And, um, and so I am going to introduce them to you and then, and then ask them a few questions and then open up the, the, um, the, the webinar for questions from, from you. And back to the application information, on our website, you can just Google Corey Leadership Program at Marshall, and you'll get to our webpage, and there'll be a link there for applications they, um, they opened this week. Um, and they're open, we have three phases of, um, of evaluation, so they can apply throughout the, um, the rest of uh, this year. So Catherine, um, Catherine Wynn is a senior, her top five strengths are positivity, communication, woo, arranger, and achiever. And um, she has held a number of different leadership roles across the school and has started, actually, I met Catherine when she was in my 304 class and was part of the pilot program and has just accelerated. It's been exciting to see her growth over time. We have Kelsey Brembry who is a sophomore who participated in the Corey program last spring um, as a mentee or a participant, or now we call them Corey leaders. Um, you can check out her LinkedIn page. We have um, badges and that's wonderful. She has a breadth of experience in nonprofits and um, interested about community outreach and how business administration and business management can tie to that. Tyler Sato is a senior, um, and I apologize, um, Kelsey, you'll have to reveal, I didn't write down your, um, your top five strengths. I know they're developer, I think empathy. Yes, developer, empathy, positivity, um, social intelligence, and did you mention developer? No, and, no, and developer, right, developer. excellent. Um, Tyler is developer, harmony, arranger, includer, relator. It's interesting when we interview uh, mentors, um, especially early on in when, when Catherine and, and Tyler, I think Catherine was in the program, Tyler hadn't been in the program because not everybody had the opportunity then, um, is, uh, is how they're, after taking the strengths finder, Clifton Strengths, how it aligns so much with their own character and, and, and skills and, um, and personality as, um, as mentors and coaches. Um, and Ryan Nagel is a junior who is top five star. I feel like I'm introducing like the, like the Mr. and Mrs. USC um, pageant. Um, analytical, harmony, discipline, consistency, and achiever. Um, Ryan came in as a mentor last year. And so right now I'd like to start with, um, with, actually, I'm going to start with Kelsey, 
because a lot of these parents and family members who are here today have first year students. So what was it about the Cori program that drew you to apply? Well, um, first coming on campus, there's so many welcome events, especially specifically in Marshall. Um, there's the welcome picnic and there's so many booths that are so attractive and there's so many opportunities. I was honestly a little bit overwhelmed and I actually found about, out about the program last spring when I got an email and it was like the last minute chance to participate. And just coming from a semester where, you know, I was a little overwhelmed. I wasn't really sure what path or what direction I was going to go down. Um, reading the flyer and reading more about the program, I was like, I need to be a part of this and sort of find ways where I can hone in on all my strengths, all my skills, and just be the best student that I can be. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Catherine, what has been your experience in the Cori program? Yeah, so as you know, I participated in the pilot program my freshman year, and then I it was a no brainer for me to apply to be a student mentor my sophomore year, junior year, and now my senior year. Um, this program has really taught me like self awareness and leadership skills, and I really owe a lot to this program about honing in on your top five strengths is something I never really thought about in high school or even first semester at USC. And exactly what Kelsey said, Marshall is a very competitive environment. And I think that's the beauty of the school, the academics and the people and everyone there is very driven to be the best of the best. And I think coming from high school to that situation is very intimidating as a first year student. And though I'd always felt like a leader at Marshall, I felt like such a small fish. I just didn't really feel comfortable there. And after going through this program and really getting my top five, which were communication, achiever, arranger, and woo, and positivity and this program really instilled like the confidence and the courage and the character that I needed as a first year student and in turn being a mentor throughout the following years has solidified those strengths and it's been able to really incorporate that in my everyday life and it's really given me um, the confidence to apply to these really high up positions within Marshall and within the clubs I'm in and whatever I do I've kind of became a leader in that club in that organization because this program really gave me the skills and the ability to understand my own strengths as an individual and how I could apply those to be like a kind and caring leader to those around me. Yeah thank you Catherine. Tyler when we talk about strengths and strengths as a leader um is leadership in, involves not just developing your own strengths, but recognizing the strengths of others. So can you talk a little bit about your student mentor experience and how um, that has um, given you a perspective on other people's strengths or maybe just in maybe dealing just with your mentor, uh, mentees? Yeah, so my big strengths are as a ranger and developer. And I think it's been really important seeing how other people play parts in like a group project or an effort like that. Even I had a class with Catherine last semester and it was interesting seeing how our strengths really were highlighted when working in group projects or studying. And then when working with our uh, mentees, it's fascinating to see how, if I understand this little characteristic or strength or trait about this student, and I see this thing about another student, how I can utilize each of those for them to work together and ultimately get a task completed. Great. I have questions for, for students, but please um, use the Q&A box to ask questions. I'd much rather have us address questions that you're interested in um, as family members. So Ryan, um, have you, how have you, since we have family members here, and um, how have you discussed, you know, have you discussed the Cori program with your, with your family? Um, what have you had conversations with um, with others about the Cori program? Yeah, um, I think that the main thing that I always bring up when I'm talking about the Cori program is just like how it's helped me and how it gives me an opportunity to help others. Um, and I think that it's it's just a very rewarding experience, especially being able to like recognize because the main themes of the program is to is confidence, character, and courage. And I definitely think the program overall accomplishes all those goals, not only in, in instilling it within others, but also helping it with, with your own experience as a mentor. Um, yeah, and I, I think that 
when I when I talk about it with my family, it's definitely brought up just like how I'm able to um, use my strengths that I've learned from the program and apply those um, in ways that can help other students at Marshall. That's great. Um, what other things did you, in thinking about coming and talking to family members and here, did you think about other um, aspects of the program or your own personal experience that you would like to share with the family members who are here? Um, I would say that, that from my own experience, I think that it gave me just a lot of confidence in, in my own leadership skills. And I think that at first, um, I think what happens with a lot of freshmen is that they don't recognize what they're good at. And I think that this program really helps with just recognizing those strengths that, that you have that you may not realize that you have. And then it gives you a lot more confidence in, in applying it to your own social, personal, and professional lives. And it's something that's really valuable for a first year student. Um, I'd like to add on to that. I think what's great about Marshall is that all of your core classes will involve group projects. That's just the basics of Marshall. Everything is group project oriented. And so I think taking the Corey program as a freshman really gives you the upper leg in, in managing that group project and in turn, in, in turn um, applying towards internships later on. And when you're able to like clearly articulate your top five strengths, which is exactly what Corey teaches you, it makes you a more self-aware leader and those around you can see it. So when you're leading that group project, you're not gonna come across as too pushy or anything because it, Corey teaches you to really utilize everyone else's strengths. And so I, th I would think it'd be a beautiful thing if Corey was mandatory for all first year students. So then when you went into those group project meetings, you could say, what are your top five? And then when you all have your different top five, let's say one in 36 million have the same order of top five, then you can utilize that in a different manner. And like. I've definitely heard like my like my internship last summer when um, they asked me like oh what's your top strength before Corey I would give them a standard answer like oh it's definitely my strong work ethic and I think that's a very great answer when you don't understand your top five strengths but I was applying to a specific sales internship and one of my top five is woo which stands for winning others over and I was able to articulate that to the interviewer and and explain how that would make me an asset to the sales team and how I've used that experience in my past. And when I ended up getting the position, um, the interviewer reached out to me and, and explicitly told me like, the fact that you were able to tell me how you've used that and how you're going to bring that to this team was exactly what got you this position. And I think that's also really given me the ability to become a vice president in things at USC. And like, I was director of the Marshall International Case Competition, like a vice president of Marshall Women's Leadership Board. Like, being able to articulate and, and explain how you've used your past, your, your strengths, and how you're going to use those strengths in that position is something that Corey does a beautiful job of teaching you. And it really sets you apart from the, a lot of Marshall students that haven't taken the program as well. Tyler, do you have anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I think I'd definitely like to echo what Catherine was talking about. Coming to USC, I had no idea how many group projects there were. Every single Marshall class I've taken has had a group project or multiple group projects of some sort. So I think taking this as a freshman, there were a lot of strengths that I knew I had. Uh, coming into college, I knew I was very analytical, numbers-based, and I knew those were my strengths. So as Catherine was saying, that's something I talked about in interviews, I talked about in group settings. By taking this program, by participating, I learned my other strengths in like Harmony, Developer, Arranger. And being able to utilize that in the group setting was incredible because that's something I, I didn't even really know I had. But then once I started really accepting that, utilizing it, taking advantage of it, I was able to really like excel in my group projects. And I think on that note, especially with interviews, kind of what Catherine mentioned as well, when I'm in those interview situations, the Curie program itself has those applications. You have to think about it. You have to discuss it. You have to partner brainstorm with one with the, your peers, other freshmen, first year students, and then you have to discuss it with the mentor or mentees. So those who are somewhat of a senior position to you. And that essentially it just emulates what an interview situation is when you have to talk about yourself, talk about those situations, um, just any like issue, conflict, crucial conversations. I think this Corey program has really been beneficial, especially when applying to jobs. Kelsey, what do you have to add? Um, well, I remember the first seminar, you mentioned that weaknesses aren't like subjectively bad. They're just something that we need to work harder at doing. 
And that honestly shaped my entire mindset for the rest of the semester. I remember um, my first semester, I live in LA, so I was coming home almost every single weekend. And after joining the program, I was, it was longer stretches of time where I was on campus and I didn't come home. And I was just fully submersed into the campus and into being a Trojan, being at Marshall. Just my whole mentality changed. My parents even mentioned to me, like, you're talking like more detailed about what you're doing in school. You seem more passionate. You know, before it was just like, okay, it's good, it's bad. Just very like, you know, submissive answers whenever they would ask me about school. But after being in the program, it was like a complete different mood shift. And I agree with everyone else. And um, I feel like this program is perfect when you're taking 304 organizational behavior and leadership or you're taking 302 or honestly any Marshall core class because like Catherine mentioned, like Tyler mentioned, like we have to do group projects. And it is almost in every single instance where these strengths come into play and how you can sort of strength spot other people in your group and sort of formulate the perfect um, sort of team model. Great. And and you all mentioned these, th the thing about strengths and weaknesses, and that's one thing I didn't explain up front, is um, we're rooted, the program is rooted in positive psychology, which Donald Clifton asked this question, which was, what if we didn't look at what's wrong with people, which was where psychology was, but let's look at what's right with them and started a number of different research studies that proved over time, you know, that proved again and again over time that when we focus on our strengths, and these are things that are innate and developed. So it's a little bit of nature, a little bit of nurture, is that when we focus on our strengths, we can um, gain more success, more um, a high performing, you know, a high level of performance consistently over time than if we just fixed our weaknesses. So we have brought that sort of positive attitude to the program it's rooted in the program, which I think as a parent, um, it, it, it's, it's a wonderful developmental way of giving students, giving our, our students the opportunity to recognize their own strengths, to work on them supported with feedback. And that was the, that was the whole point of the mentor aspect and from each other um, to really get better at what they're really good at and what brings them energy, like what Kelsey was saying, that energy that she had is what, um, what differentiates us from other people in our organizations, in our school, in our teams. And to tap into that energy that we have will give us that higher level of performance. And really when I talk about this as a leader and developing a leader, it's a big differentiator. Not everybody has this opportunity. And we have this great opportunity with our first year students because of Rob Corey's generosity um, it doesn't cost anything. It is not yet a class. So it is um, a commitment to participate in uh, three, after three Friday afternoons of programming and then some cohort, smaller cohort meetings with mentors over the course of um, the three and a half months in the spring. Um, and I think I'm with Catherine is it is our goal to make this a mandatory part but, but frankly, we're taking it slow. You know, we're, we're doing an iterative kind of developmental process of getting it out there and, and we're, getting to, we're getting to that tipping point, I think, of seeing um, people and the, the impact that the program has going forward. Um, so Catherine, you had something you wanted to add about um, building relationships. Yeah, um, I think we've all touched upon professional development in classes and what Corey has brought for us in that aspect. But I think another key aspect that Corey really helps you with in life is those person is in your personal life, it's with family, is with friends, with roommates. And I think I have become very self-aware throughout this program. And some of the aspects of Corey is we do workshops on how to have crucial conversations. So how to have those respectful conversations with those that are in your life. So with a roommate or with a classmate or with a parent. And I really think that going through Corey, yes, it does give you the professional growth and development that is key to success in Marshall and, and after that. But at the same time, like 
coming from all different parts of the country and being thrown into this very competitive atmosphere and feeling like a very small fish in the sea at Marshall. And by focusing on the positives of yourself and what makes you who you are, you're really able to apply that into your personal life too. And even if you're not talking about it with friends, you're able to become, you pull back and be more self-aware during, during these conversations. And kind of you look back at what's driving me to think this way, what's making me act this way. And like on that note, I remember I was talking to one of my really good friends a couple of weeks ago about how excited I was for my third year of mentoring for Corey. And she was telling you how I should look into this program that has 34 strengths. And I was like, the Clifton Strengths Finder? Um, that's what I've been teaching for three years. And so I've set up like a personal mentor session with my best friend and she's gonna go through like the, take the Strengths Finder, get her top five. And like, I'm gonna personally mentor her to do that. Cause I've, I've really grown a lot from this program. and. Even my parents have seen it. Um, I've always been the type of kid that calls them immediately whenever I want to share anything. And after every Corey session, my parents would be so excited to hear the enthusiasm and optimism I had for what I learned and how I was going to use it. And they've definitely seen that in how I've gone about life, how I've gone about even on family trips, like how I've treated people around me and how I've analyzed that and looked back into it. So I think it's really, really key to have your child participate in this as a freshman. Um, it's not too long of a time commitment and you really get a lot more out of it than just one semester. And I just want to address the one question I saw. Do you have to have an outgoing personality to benefit from this program? Absolutely not. It is the beauty about Corey is that everyone has their own top five strengths and all of the mentors, we all have so many different strengths. We all come from so many different backgrounds and it is such a safe environment in our individual mentor sessions. And each mentor, like like myself, will have another smaller group of students that I'm in charge of. And we'll do personalized office hours or we'll have individual group chats or very small things. So if you're not outgoing and you don't want to constantly be sharing to your group of 30 other mentees, then you have us, you have the other mentors. And and it's just a very safe environment. So like no matter what personality type or no matter what your top five are, like everyone, I've seen everyone from all different types of strengths, backgrounds like come out of this changed honestly great thank you so now i'm gonna you answered one of the questions and um and i'm gonna go to the q a the few questions that we have in the q a box and i appreciate those in there so um is this program only open to marshall students currently yes it's only open to marshall students um it's open right now to marshall majors and if your student is a marshall minor they can apply as well um, and I'm glad that you addressed the question too about the outgoing personality is, is you may not be able to tell, but I would say we also do Myers-Briggs type indicator in 304. And so I am aware of students, you know, introversion and extroversion and where they get their, their um, energy from. And I look when we select student mentors and um, we, like Catherine said, I, we have a very diverse group of student mentors. They're both um, domestic students and international students, students that are transfer students, um, students that have um, first generation students. So we try to get the, the mentors to reflect the student body and have that diversity because leadership, you know, ever, ever since um, we've, you know, we have the book about quiet and the power of introversion, I think it's come to the forefront that you don't have to you know, um, be a total extrovert or have an outgoing personality, you have to use your strengths to make a difference. And understanding what those strengths are um, really gives you the leg up. Um, this, um, it, you asked if this is an actual class. It is not a class. And so we have balanced it between, um, you know, commitment and time because it is not a class, it is a, it is a program. Students earn a certificate. So a certificate of completion and a badge, um, electronic badge that they can post as Kelsey did on her um, LinkedIn. And um, let me see. These are mostly technical questions, but actually talking about um, somebody has twin sons who are now in Vietnam during, due to COVID and um, which they have no idea whether they can join online. Yes, 
um, I have gotten this question with the mentors. So last spring, we, you know, we had that abrupt change from in person to uh, online. And this semester, we are delivering part of Corey program to our global leaders program, which is totally online. So we have shifted a number of different activities and how we use Zoom um, to deliver it online. So yes, they will be able to join the program remotely. Um, and we will have scheduled, we, we will schedule things to accommodate people who are in different time zones. Um, so nobody has to stay up in the middle of the night to participate. Um, what I was going to say is maybe Ryan and Kelsey, if you could speak to the experience you had being online, we had the benefit of being in person first, but being making that switch from live to online last semester. Yeah. So um, Ryan was actually one of my mentors in the grad cohort, and I felt like uh, both him and Katie and Nancy did a really good job um, transitioning um, all of our cohorts to online. And I also found the very competitive Kahoot meeting at the end of the semester very fun. Um, we actually won, which was really cool. Um, and I still felt like it was really interactive, and all of my mentors were there for me um, despite um, transitioning to online, it almost felt like we were still in person. Great. Yeah, I think it was a, a great transition for all of us because uh, I think, so I was with, um, I had Kelsey as one of my mentees and I was also working with Katie and Nancy who are another two of our mentors. And uh, we definitely challenged ourselves to create like a more individualized experience for the mentees, especially in this virtual environment. Um, I think that especially it's if it when it's virtual it's hard to stay engaged like in the program because you get distracted with other things and um, i we kind of challenge ourselves to to really make it interactive and also um, keep it keep everyone engaged overall just with indiv individualized experiences yeah and it's and the engagement part those of us that because you know i am a i'm a coach and a consultant as well and um, in teaching organizational behavior and leadership, engagement is a primary outcome uh, for anything that we do. And in planning this semester, just for my classes, but also now for Corey in the spring, is we have focused very diligently about creating those connections deliberately and intentionally online so students have as close an experience as they can um, to being in person. And so um, and so that is, I just want to assure you that, that that is central to the Corey experience, but it also for me as a professor, and I know my colleagues have been trying to connect students um, in class. We have fun day Mondays in my Monday, Wednesday class where we just do something totally goofy, icebreaker, um, we had bring your favorite snack and tell me the, you know, tell each other, because we put them in small breakout rooms, tell each other the origin story of their snack, why it became their favorite snack. Cheez-Its was very popular, by the way. Um, we've done, you know, um, videos and all sorts of other crazy things to just help students connect and um, and we did the, we did a, we used to do a live scavenger hunt around campus, but we did a virtual scavenger hunt around campus with our 304 students. Um, and which, which really, to be honest, and I know this is a little tangential. Um, it, it, I wasn't expecting, I didn't expect how, how much of a powerful experience it was for students who had never been to campus. We take for granted, a lot of us are from Southern California. Um, or have been able to travel to visit campus before your first year student um, came. And, um, and so I think, um, I think they were like, well, now I, now I actually have a better idea of like what's on campus and traditions. And I had them sing the fight song, which if you've ever tried to sing happy birthday on a Zoom, you know, a Zoom social hour, you know how fun that is. Um, okay, so, um, the due dates, so here people are asking about when are applications for the spring due is, um, and this relates to, um, to Tanya's question, if, if it's not a class, how do you register and what is the cost? The cost, it's free. 
because we have this wonderful donor who wants to give back to the students at Marshall due to his, the experience, the positive experience he's had with his own students. And as you saw, their found, the Corey Foundation is very committed to developing young professionals and up and coming professionals. So right now it is, um, it is free. The deadlines, and I'm gonna read these out, um, and um, but it is also on our web page and I know Gohar is here um, and we'll make sure that that's that's current for us but um, round one is October 30th round two is December 4th round three is Monday January 4th so just so that it um, here let me I'll type it in the chat box that's the nice thing about these things um, so here is the application online, the online application, the deadlines um, are such. Um, and I don't know, have any of you students, so there's another question that says, are aspects of strengths finders developed in the 304 class or other BUAD classes like 252 planning a future career? So have any of you um, encountered uh, strengths finder in any of your other courses? I don't know if anybody's taken 252. I've taken 252 and we really didn't discuss it much. Um, 252 is more of just like networking and understanding what you want in a job. I guess the strengths kind of match up if you see your strengths and how that relates to the role itself. But no, it didn't come up and it didn't come up in 252. Thank you, Tyler. Um, Catherine. Yeah, um, in my 302, so communications class, uh, we did Clifton Strengths Finder and it was kind of a great experience. I kind of also mentored the class for that one um, because my teacher was trying to do it and I was a student mentor for it. So that's one class um, where we used it, but I think that was just teacher specific. So Marshall doesn't necessarily have like specific leadership classes, which I think is the beauty of the Corey program um, because that's a very direct leadership building experience for first years. And so, yes, in some classes, you might talk about Clifton Strengths or the Strengths concept, but there's no other opportunity at Marshall to really hone in on these top five and to have individual mentor support from students that have gone through the program that are interviewing at internships, that are doing clubs. So I think it's like the peer mentor aspect of it and not a class setting, I think is really helpful as a first year student too, to have someone that's, that's been in your position that knows how you feel. Great. Um, is it possible for us sophomores and juniors to join the program? Um, unfortunately, it is designed for first year pro, uh, for first year students. Um, hold on, let's see here. I'm trying to post some information. I got go is, ahead. Adding on to what Catherine said, I think the one of the beauties of the Courier program is it really teaches the soft skills of business and the world which a lot of classes don't really focus on at all. 302 somewhat touches on it, but the Kuri program is definitely the only class, networking opportunities, stuff like that, where I've really like focused on the networking and the soft skills type of things. Yeah, and that's where too you have student mentor support as well, which is frankly for both sides, there's coaching and mentoring. It's really coaching. Um, which is a wonderful skill that our students need to develop in order to be effective managers and work well in teams and lead in the future. And, um, but with that coaching and support from the mentors, you have much more one-on-one -on -one or small group support to develop your strengths. Um, whereas in a classroom setting, it's, it's not always that way. Although I will say uh, as a professor, we all take um, personal interest and enjoy meeting with students individually. Um, yes, so um, so we answered the question about the courses and then can you explain what you mean by rounds? What is the application process and how competitive is the program? I will explain rounds. Um, maybe Kelsey can explain the, the, the application process. Um, by rounds, it just means they're rolling applications. This was to give students an opportunity. Some people have midterms like right now. Um, it gives us a good sense of how many people are coming in so we can plan, um, you know, plan our resources. Um, but students, it, there's no benefit. Like if you're looking at, it's not like early admission. 
or anything like that. It's just, we, we did three rounds so students don't get quite anxious about, oh my God, I missed the October 1st, the 30th, 30th or November 1st. We've, for me personally, I've done, uh, I've tried to give students a little bit more breathing room um, than we would normally. Um, Kelsey, what was the application process like? Yeah, so the application process, it was rather um, pretty simple. I believe there's either one to two questions, about 200 to 500 questions each, sort of explaining like why are you, like what is your interest in the program and what do you hope to gain from this program? Um, and I'm not sure, I don't wanna misspeak, but how competitive the program is, I think almost everyone who applies gets in the program, which is, you can just, you know, get rid of that stress right now. Um, it's super open and everyone is so inviting. Um, you don't have to worry about, as long as you just express yourself and your interest in the program, you'll be 100% fine. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, the folks who don't, we even with applications, if they're, because you have to answer, um, you fill in some demographic information and then you have to answer a question about, you know, leadership in you. What are, what goals do you have um, in attending the program? And, um, and from that answer, we read them all. Um, and most people do a very thoughtful job. And so it's, it's a no brainer to say, yes, come on in. There are some students who may not have recognized the need to put a little bit more thought or time into it. So I go back to those students and say, could you tell us a little, if you're seriously interested in the program, could you tell us a little bit more? Um, I look at this, especially with first year students as a coaching opportunity, a learning opportunity for them. Um, there's, there's plenty of things within Marshall and within the world that are uber competitive. And um, I don't necessarily want this to be one of them. Um, I think it's a wonderful program to, that, that is available to all Marshall first year students. And, um, and oh, by the way, for the, for the parent or family member who asked about available for sophomores and juniors is we do run um, other uh, events. Now they're, now they're webinars or online seminars, short seminars where everybody's invited. So we did one this past fall on um, how to activate your strengths in an interview um, and on your resume. And a member from the Gallup um, organization came and um, spoke with a nice sized group of students who were interested. Not all of them were um, first year students. So the, the, the sort of the, the philosophy and some of the tools are available um, to sophomores and juniors. Um, and if your student is a transfer sophomore or junior, they're certainly welcome to apply. Um, okay, so with that, any other questions? We're bumping up against the end of the class. I, I think we answered, I had one question, 304 and 252. We answered that one. Um, thank you. And then uh, I um, want to thank you all. Certainly, I'll stick around for a couple extra minutes if you have um, any um, any questions. I am going to put my um, email. Actually, I'm going to put the Corey email in there. Uh, the Corey leadership at marshall.usc.edu. Um, if you have any other questions, um, otherwise I want to thank you all. I hope that what we have shared with you about the Robert J. Corey Applied Leadership Program was something that uh, you see as a value add for your student and something distinct for the Marshall School. And I want to thank Ryan, Catherine, Kelsey, and Tyler for spending an hour of their valuable time and your valuable time as attendees. And look forward to enjoy the rest of your time um, in and out of family weekends. And um, and uh, I and the other thing, and because I'm balancing this with Sujin. Um, you can sort of see my style is more conversational, um, is that this session is recorded. So um, if you want to share it with your student or send them to our Corey um, Leadership Program website, uh, please do. So thank you very much. And Sujin, is there anything else that you would like to add?
Um, just thank you to everyone once again. And as uh, Dr. Chody, Jody Tolan mentioned, uh, this session is recorded and we will be posting this on the university website after Church and Family Weekend takes place. So thank you so much to everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.